Hello everyone and welcome back. In the last lesson we had one of our tests that was failing, but everything seemed to be set up correctly. So let's take the opportunity to learn how to debug Angular tests. This is just one simple way of doing it, there are other ways. And also let's learn about a common uh, error situation that we tend to find while writing this type of tests. So let's go back to the test and try to see what could have gone wrong. In order to visualize what could be happening, let's take the email field input that we have here. So this is a debug element. We can get here, for example, the native element. And now what we're going to do is we are going to get the HTML of this element to see what is going on. We are going to get the outer HTML and we are going to log the HTML to the console so that we can debug it. So if we hit Control S, this is going to re-execute the test. And again, we have a failing test, but now here on the console, we have here the font awesome input HTML in the headless browser at the moment that the test is starting to be executed. So as you can see, something is wrong here because the icon class is already there and the font awesome class is already there, but the font awesome dash envelope class is still missing, although the input has been uh, correctly projected inside the font awesome input element. So let's see what could be going on here. Going back here to our program, it looks like the test application is running, that the headless browser is correctly creating our email field, but this input has not been yet processed at this time, so it's a timing issue. We at this moment need to run manually here the change detection mechanism of Angular to make sure that the icon input is processed internally by Angular and reflected in the DOM of the component. So the problem is that the assertion is being done too early at this stage. If at this moment we manually trigger the change detection mechanism of Angular, this will now work. And actually this is a good idea to do any time that we run a test to make sure that everything is updated and that all the changes have been uh, synchronized to the DOM. So before each, we are going to use here the fixture and we are going to run here the change detector. We are going to call manually detect changes. So let's have a look at it now. If we run the test, let's see what happens. Now, after a moment, if you head over to the console, you will see that all the tests have been run successfully. So if we switch back here to the browser, we can see that all tests are now successful. So this is something to bear in mind while writing Angular tests to make sure that the changes that we make on the test, we give it a change detection cycle so that those changes get reflected in the DOM. And with this, we have a test suit in place for our font awesome component. What we're going to do next is we are going to learn how to publish this to NPM. But we are also going to see a problem with the current uh, format of our library and how to fix it. We will also be doing an exercise. We are going to build a similar input to this one that is very closely related. It's going to be a material design input. Let's have a look at it. This is coming right up in the next lesson.